Hello everybody, welcome back to The Witcher 2. In this one we're going to be looking at how to farm yourself um, cash and a little bit of XP if you want to put the effort in. Now I'm just going to make sure they've meditated here to make sure I've reset the area. Uh, so the first thing we're going to show, you guys have probably already seen. And that's because you're going to have started here, right? So, um, obviously outside of the main city in Chapter 3, Lock Marine, it's called. Um, obviously this is the path that we came down with ropes right at the very beginning. Uh, this remains accessible as far as I'm aware um, for most of the chapter. We should have, here we go, harpies spawning from here. So, I'm going to say now, harpies are probably the best way for, um, for grinding cash. Right? And, and the main reason for that is just because of how simple they are to defeat. Um, I'm going to show you guys gargoyles and and an extra area where you can actually farm hoppies as well. Um, but this is where you're going to get the most um, per run, right? So you're going to want to come out here and you're going to want to farm these guys in bulk, right? Make sure you come back with um, kind of the amount of items you're going to need to, um, to purchase whatever it is you're after. Otherwise, trying to come back to, to and from here in between... Uh, runs is going to be is going to be long, right? So we're going to go up here and show the, show the whole run, because why not? Uh, probably the run back down as well, just so you guys can kind of see um, that you know there's 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 almost no waste on this. It's way easier than in chapter two as well. Um, I'll put it down there if we want to continue on up the thing. Got some more. Wow. Of course, if you want to, you can obviously spawn loads of them in and then fight them all in one big gaggle if you want. Obviously, with the chapter 2 set on, these guys are quite easy for us to defeat. Some more coming in. Where are you? I have to fight wherever you are. This is where we started. Interestingly enough, there's no like tower like this tower we got here. Other than maybe we slid down the, the boulders. Not missed any, it's all good. Now, cool thing is, uh, once you get to the top. I believe anyway, we can just basically rest right where we started and then head back down again. <laughs> Sorry, I said a bit of a sneeze. Of course, this is going to be a little bit of a long format just because this kind of makes up a part of Let's Play um, slash walkthrough that we're doing for the series. And then we come back down, we should get another load. Well, hello. Missed me. Does thing. Uh, if you're anywhere near the level I am, which I assume most people will be, I've not done that much grinding. Uh, only literally for the cash that I need. Um, then you know, you're not going to be getting much XP from this. And this will basically just catch you up to the, the level that you're supposed to be at if you do do this later on. Which is kind of nice. I think level 30 is kind of a good average to be at for the end of the game. Um, the, ex the, the different enemy I'm going to show you, the gargoyles, um, you can get XP from them, but it's like 3 per kill and they're quite difficult, which is why I'm doing those as a kind of side thing to this video. But, uh, continue my way down. I mean, luckily I already had a lot of cash previously from the previous um, area as well, so I shouldn't have to do this too much. It's going to be you, 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 and you. Should be some more on this bench here. Oh, well, that stuff's still there from the last time. Ah. Just be careful the ones with the reclaws, they are a bit harder. 
the Rinnies. Oh, hello. Ouch! Oh god, can you imagine if I died there? That'd be terrible. <laughs> Okay, be all nice and glowy for me, come on. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you. Cool, so that's one run, right? And I did have a little bit of that stuff in my inventory, but not a lot of it. So now we're looking here. 72, 104. I don't know why it's not enough, but that's really weird. Um, how do I swap that? But yeah, so there is... A bit of cash for us anyway. Hobbs Live was all in at 60. So we've got like two, three hundred orange there. Uh, depending on how much you need, will depend on how many times you want to do that. Uh, so now we're going to go with the uh, the other two areas that you could also use. Uh, so one of them is going to be another set of harpies, and I'll say they're good for uh, topping your income up because they are quite deep in the city, and so you don't need to come all this way out. Obviously, the route that you see me take right now is the route back out, so it's all the same. Um, unless something drastic changes for you later on in the game, I don't think it does. I'm, of course, on Roach's Path as well, but I think Lock Moon pretty much ends up as the as being the same thing overall in Chapter 3. And I believe from here we should be able to get to the Gargoyles quite easily. Yes. So we'll show you the other two parts right here. Now, if it's your first time here, you're going to have like a group of mercenaries or something up here that want to kill you. Just be careful of that. Um, so save before you come in here. These are tough. Very tough. You are going to need to kill at least eight of them because you're going to need eight gargoyle dust for... for the actual Kinslayer set. Oh wow, I've got you out there. That's kind of good. I did not realise that was an idea. <laughs> Can I do that again? No, they run off down there. So, uh, now that I'm able to show you guys this a bit better, so these guys drop off of the off of the roof as you just saw. They hit like trucks, right? Try not to get caught by those combos because they pretty much just kill you. But the good thing to note is, that as soon as you walk out here, they just run off. So, use that to your advantage if you can. Um, there's there's three on this one, and I think it's four. Uh, the other set of these that can spawn, but I would advise this one just because um, it's a decent open space and you have the way to run out if you need to. Um, there's there's another set of four which I've done in the playthrough already, but um, they are way tougher, so I wouldn't recommend those as a as a spot for this, um, particularly as you don't have the same the same ability to get out. Um, and as well, I don't know if you guys will notice, but these guys give give me three XP each. So, if you guys are looking for cash and XP, and you want to do a little bit slow, but you want to level up a little bit, you can do that there. I've got like ten for that, right? So it's not going to have budged. It's, uh, it's hard going. Now, directly up from these uh, is the next set of enemies that we can face. This is like a this is like a little bar in here. It's kind of strange. There's like people playing dice and stuff in between all these monsters, but whatever. Uh, so you head up the ramp. This is accessible from another area as well. I'm going to show you that as the, the, the way out where it comes. So through our little little door just here, and we have another set of harpies. Uh, and so there are only a few of them. Uh, but like I said, these are way more local to, to merchants and stuff, so... Um, Kind of decide as you will. What's going to be better for your needs, right? If you only need like a couple of hundred orange, then these might be better off than going all the way up to the cliff. If you need a couple of thousand, then maybe you want to go up to the cliff. Uh, follow this around. Um, where are we? Yeah, here we go. Come across this way, and you'll see that we end up coming to. Where is it? Just bit. Yeah, here we go, big open area. With the dudes that are all fighting stuff. And as you can see, here are our merchants. This is where we can start selling all the stuff we just got. Uh, that's trade, I don't want to hear Yeah, it's kind of cool we can do that. Um, so yeah, that is basically 
uh, the best way that I could find to or to grind anything really. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't seem like there's a good way to, to accrue vast amounts of XP. It's fine. But um, hopefully this will help you guys with um, buying the Kinslayer set, which is what I'm using it for. So hopefully you guys will continue to follow the walkthrough, and I'll see you all in the next episode. See you then.